this is the area I'm thinking about doing the camp out with Tom. And look right here, there's a huge snap off. Right in the middle of a whole bunch of other trees, there's one snapped off. And I look over here and I see this. So I don't know, is that the remainder of that tree? It doesn't look like it just fell. You know, if it had just fallen, it should be laying right there, but it's kind of stacked over here on the side. And then I noticed this, a huge X. You guys see this X down here? That's kind of where I come from. That's my, my trail is down there, 400 yards. I'll just leave that up to you guys as to what that is. I'm just pointing it out. This might be a great spot to uh, come and camp out. Okay guys, I'm just coming from the fox den up here in the bush and I saw this this morning, which was not here before. Two big leanovers. And I show you guys all the leanovers, but this time I think I have an answer for what's going on in this particular case. I've been coming down this trail all week and these were not here yesterday. So I stopped to take a closer look. And right here on the end, you can see there's no bark left on these leanovers. Right there. There's a close-up of it, guys. Now, who's to say that Bigfoot doesn't nibble on the end of a spruce tree now and then, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was probably the porcupine. The porcupine climbed that little tree, because they're still nine feet off the ground there, so it wasn't a rabbit, we know that. The porcupine has climbed those two trees since yesterday and he's so fat and heavy he just leaned them right over when he got out here and working and he's eaten all the bark off those two branches. Some of you guys, even though I show you that and tell you what it is, will still think it's something out of the ordinary and that's fine. I'm not 100% sure. I didn't see the porcupine up there eating that, but that is the most common sense answer and that's what I think it is. All right guys, it's 11.30 at night and here I am out on the deck again listening to the frogs and the sounds of the swamp and I've got the parabolic dish ready to go. Why do you ask? Because I was over at my neighbor's for dinner and the teenager came up to me and said, hey, did you hear the screaming last night? And I said, oh, here we go again. So last night apparently, I slept like a baby. I didn't hear a thing. But the neighbor next door heard screaming, said it sounded like a screaming woman. She was so scared she went and woke her mom up and no sooner did she do that and a few seconds later it stopped. So is this just the fox? I don't know guys, I'm kind of tired of chasing down this thing because every time I'm prepared and out here listening and I gotta go through hours of audio recordings every time I do this, I get nothing. I would just love to get the fox on here and call it a day because I'm pretty sure at this point that's what it's got to be, but she insisted that it was a screaming woman. And she's not the first neighbor to tell me this. She's actually the fourth neighbor to tell me that it's a screaming woman. I have heard the fox scream a couple times. I've got a couple recordings during the day that you guys have heard and so far everything I could say that I've captured would be an animal of some sort. Not necessarily the fox, but we do have a fox. As you guys know, I've spent every day up at the fox den in the last two weeks, so do I sound a little frustrated? I apologize if I do, but this is becoming old. I just get scary shit now when I'm out here recording. I get paranormal shit, EVPs and stuff. Pardon my French that I don't want to get into. I'm not a paranormal researcher. I don't want to 
I don't want my house to be haunted. I don't want to investigate a haunted house. I just want to find Bigfoot. That's where I'm at. I just want to find Bigfoot. That being said, here we go. I'm going to set up the parabolic, let it run. It's 11.35, something like that. We're going to let it run until the wee hours of the morning, till the batteries die, because I'm not sitting out here. I'm just going to turn it on, leave it on the deck, and let it do its thing. And if I find anything after hours of sitting there, pulling my hair out, listening to crickets chirp and frogs and all the sounds of the swamp, I'll let you know. It is a beautiful night out here. Just standing here watching the stars. The sky is full of stars. Beautiful night. So, hey, take it for what it is, right, I guess. Just stand out here and enjoy the view for a bit. Good morning, guys. We left the audio recorder on the deck last night. We got four hours and 22 minutes. I didn't have a full set of batteries in there, but that's plenty because now I've got to go through all of the audio stuff. I went to bed at 12.12 last night. I have one of those clocks that shines up on the ceiling and I always kind of keep track, so in a double digit. Shortly after 12, I'm gonna check the recording. I haven't gotten that far yet. I laid in bed listening to this strange snapping and cracking sounds again coming from outside. Just when you're on the verge of falling asleep, I get a loud crack every time and it you know, jumps me back into reality. So I'm gonna be looking for those. I'm 20 minutes into the recording here, so at 11.50, before I even went to bed, the audio recorder is picking up loud cracks and things on the deck. I don't know what it is. There's nothing out there. The house is not settling. It's not freezing. It was plus 20 degrees Celsius yesterday and the day before. We don't hear this stuff during the day. I only hear this at night. What the hell is it? Somebody give me a plausible explanation. I need to start putting a camera out there with the audio recorder. I don't see anything on the deck. There's no sticks, there's no pebbles, there's no... I don't know what it is. This house is now nine years old. It is not settling, it is not creaking. It doesn't do this during the day. And I'm not crazy. Here's the recordings. I have no idea what's on there at the time of this filming right now, except the first 20 minutes. There's one really loud snap, and that's exactly what I'm hearing, and I'll We'll start the video with that. I don't know where it's gonna go from there because I haven't even listened to the rest of it. Hopefully we got something cool on here. Gage just wanted to say hello. Hey buddy. <laughs> say hello. He says the voices keep him awake at night. <laughs> hey buddy, are they talking to you when you're sleeping? 